Hi everyone, welcome to Sports Broadcasting Center. I'm Luke Jackson, along with Maddox Milton and Dylan Goldman. When you think of comeback stories, you think of the Red Sox battling back from a three games to none deficit to their dreaded rival, the Yankees. The Red Sox went on to win that World Series that year for the first time since 1918. Or maybe you think about the 1993 Buffalo Bills who trailed 35 to three in an AFC playoff game only to win 41 to 38. Now comeback means one word, Tiger. Tiger Woods is back and perhaps has cemented his place as the greatest golfer who ever lived after he won the Masters. For his first major title in 11 years, Tiger trailed by two strokes heading into the final round, but he finished with four birdies on the back nine to capture his first Masters in 14 years. The Golden State Warriors have done something that Michael Jordan's Bulls, Magic Johnson's Lakers, Larry Bird's Celtics, or any team that LeBron has played for has never done and that is, reached the NBA Finals in five consecutive seasons. In addition, the Warriors' Steve Kerr is the first coach to take a team to the Finals in each of his first five years in the league. The Warriors swept Portland in the Conference Finals without an injured Kevin Durant, and now await the winner of the Toronto-Milwaukee series in the NBA Finals. Did we already talk about a comeback? Maybe this one is on, on a par with Tigers' return to prominence. Last year, Virginia became the first number one seed to ever lose to a 16 seed in the NCAA tournament. The loss to UMBC was a shocker and an embarrassment to the Cavaliers. But here was Virginia last night knocking off Texas Tech in overtime to win the national championship. This game was a thriller with a lot of offense for two teams known for their defense. Virginia was paced by star forward DeAndre Hunter, scored 27 points, and tournament MVP Kyle Guy had 24. There was no game action at the NFL draft, uh, but the TV ratings once again were mind-blowing as fans of the NFL watched eagerly to see who their favorite team would select in Nashville, Tennessee. According to ESPN, most people watched the draft and some games in the NBA playoffs. Arizona made Oklahoma quarterback Kyler Murray the top overall selection. Three defense linemen went in the top five. The Giants grabbed their quarterback of the future, selecting Daniel Jones of Duke with the sixth overall pick. Finally, War of the Will won Preakness Stakes in Baltimore by a clear margin. The win gave redemption to pundits of the decision to disqualify Maximum Security, who bumped War of Will at the Kentucky Derby, allowing Country House to win. This was the first time since 1951 that race officials called interference in a race deciding the outcome of one of horses racing's major events. That's it for a busy day in sports. For my co-anchors, Luke Jackson and Maddox Melton, I'm Dylan Goldman. Thanks for watching Sports Broadcasting Center.